Add class and value to your belts by making good looking, top quality leather keepers for them and for other strap goods. In this video program, we will show you how to select and cut the proper leather, how to make forms, sometimes called irons, to shape the keepers, plus a few ideas for tooling and coloring. Here are some forms I've made to make belt keepers. This one is for an inch and a half inch wide belt, and this one is for a one inch wide belt. Uh, you'll notice they're quite thick. This is to allow for the thickness of the belt that we will be making. So let's get started by showing you how to make the forms. To make a form for a two inch belt keeper, I'm going to cut a piece of eight to nine ounce vegetable tan leather and then I will cut a second piece depending on how long we want to make these uh, will depend upon how many keepers you would like to make at one time. Next I will use the water-based contact cement and I will cover completely the flesh side of both of these pieces. I will do this all the way down. These happen to be 15 inches long which will make a lot of keepers. You could make them as long as you want uh, depending on how many keepers you want to make at one time. However, if you make them longer, you can always make less amount of keepers. We have allowed our cement to dry until it's tacky, and now we can very carefully place the two pieces together. And then we can rub it down well. Next, I will take a ruler and I want to uh, taper this two inch form down to one inch, so I'll just make a mark a half inch in from both sides. Now I'll make another mark about four inches, uh, let me say three inches down, and I'll do that on both sides as well. Now, I will place my straight edge across the two marks and with a sharp knife and holding it straight up and down, I will cut completely through the two thicknesses of the eight to nine ounce leather. And we'll do this on the other side as well. Next, I will take an edge beveler. This is a rather large one, and I will edge bevel the edges on both the top and the bottom. And now, with a felt tip marker, I will mark it for the size we are making. Next, I will dampen the edges, both sides, and then with a edge slicker, I will slick the edge until it's nice and smooth. And as you can see, you can make one of these forms, or irons as they're sometimes called, for all of the widths of belts that you make. To make belt keepers, it's quite easy now. Just use your strap cutter and cut straps the width that you would like. Now, in my case, for a larger belt, I like to use like a three-quarter inch wide belt keeper. And then for smaller belts, I like to use a one-half inch wide belt keeper. 
These keepers are normally cut from four to five ounce vegetable tan cowhide. To cut your keepers to length, simply slip it under the form as you can see and pull it up snug and then mark it with an awl or with your finger for the length that you need. Then it's just a matter of cutting it off cleanly. And now we know what size we need for a one and a half inch belt. And now to do the tooling we simply dampen these and there are several ways we can do the tooling. There are several ways you can decorate keepers. One is to take the adjustable edge creaser and very carefully crease an edge on both sides. This makes a very good looking keeper for a dress type belt. Another way to make a rather dressy type is to take your wing dividers, scribe a line on each side, and with the swivel knife, very carefully cut right on that line. that also makes a very nice border. Or you can stamp a border using the border stamp of your choice. In this case, I'm just going to use a 431 camouflage tool and I will stamp down both edges Again, about a one eighth inch from the edge. And now, as you can see, there are many, many ways you can do the tooling on your belt keepers. You're only limited by your imagination. Now it's time to either color or antique or do whatever we're going to do with these. There are several ways we can fasten these to make them into a loop. One is to fold it, as you can see, and uh, hold it between your fingers. And with a heavy-duty stapler, I prefer to put two staples, or a smaller one, you can many times get by with one staple. However, even with the smaller one, I prefer two staples. Another way to make a keeper is to use the special little clips that are made for that. And I will now take a 1 8 inch punch and punch a hole about a sixteenth inch in from the end. We'll do that on both sides, or both ends I should say. And now we will fold this over And uh, holding it with your thumb and first finger, we'll now insert this into the holes that we just punched. Then we can turn it over. After you have folded it over, you can take a modeling spoon and press down the two tips. And as you can see, 
These clips make a very good looking keeper. And now you can simply slip your keepers over the forms, preferably while they're still damp, and let them dry in that position.